There is a balance to nature. The shadows of night are washed away by the sunshine of day. Summer's growth is calmed by autumn's stillness. But if you look closely, there is light within the darkness and darkness within the light. Growth within the stillness and stillness within the growth. <laughs> Our existence is constructed to these patterns too, an intricate symmetry that creates the balance of life. The night was open, the rain was The water teaches us balance in every element of its being, in its fluidity and shifting changes, its stillness and its cascades, its evaporation and its movement. We learn that like water, we can shift and change, the seasons of our life flowing like a rainforest pool. It drips from our fingers, and in it, we understand the magic of ordinary things, the simple beauty that it is to exist. So Moth had a new baby, and her name is Nymph. She is teaching us the balance of work and play, and remembering that, like nature, we need to weave one throughout the other. We have to look after her and make sure that she is safe from all predators. This job is pretty special, but it means we get absolutely no farm work done. But I think there are so many things that you can learn from just sitting around all day with a baby goat. Her mum, Moth, teaches us the most in her fearless trust. She lets us babysit her newborn while she goes off to forage. In this job, we are forced to sit back and slow down to let the day wash over us. And then there's Nymph's small round eyes viewing everything for the first time. They teach us to appreciate the beauty of each small thing. Water teaches us that growth is a shifting, moving state, and each state of change is beautiful and different. The rainforest has the most enchanting ways of showing this. Its constant, chaotic growth is balanced by its rhythmic harmony. In autumn, it begins to slow. Like us, it calms. The entangle of vines and scrub move to a new pace dictated by the movement of the seasons. Like an eternal breath, it follows these seasons, growing to summer's sun and wilting to winter's moon. But this endless cycle is what creates the beauty of the forest.
I'm gonna let all of Mop's other babies out and introduce them and see what they think of their new sister. She's chosen to sleep on me, so now I must sleep here with her. It's not a bad task. <laughs> the garden is getting so overgrown. This cosmos is taller than me. I can't believe it. So we're going to do a little bit of weeding. But we have to look after this little baby at the same time. <laughs> a busy day. Oh, little one. Come on.
there's this magical time in the garden when the goat is like just a few days old and she can be in the garden with us and garden with us without eating everything. So it's just this magical time where we can garden alongside goats. <laughs> Before you get too naughty, hey? And we can babysit while your mum's off eating. Maybe you're hungry because she's sucking on my finger. So maybe it's time to go back to your mum. Oh. Moth and Moonbee love scratches, but I don't think Paisley likes scratches that much. Oh, it's in between, but this little one, she loves scratches already. <laughs> There are so many mangoes, but they're so far up, I can't reach them. So I think we're gonna have to climb the tree and reach the mango picker at the same time. I think it's my only option. In autumn slowness, we receive the gift of abundant fruit, colours and flavours that surprise us with their depth each year. The nights come earlier though, the seasons starting to shift. It is the season of the sky. Each morning and night is different and beautiful in a whole new way. Sunsets covered in mist, a contrast of shifting clouds and sun combined to paint the skies for us.
watching. The music in this video is by our friend Indira Elias. Her music is truly one of the most beautiful sounds on this earth. You can find her links in our description. And a special thank you to the support from our patrons. We love the friendship and connection this community brings. Yeah. 